Okay, welcome to the last project for access. As always, make sure that you save it as underscore two so that you can submit it to Sam for grading. Um, as always, I have my instructions printed and you can just print yours as well or split your screen and follow along with just downloading it to your computer. All right, so I'm gonna get right into it. Step one, the Economic Development Professional Organization hosts an annual conference for its members, college students, and other interested persons to share new ideas, discuss problems, and brainstorm solutions. You are a conference coordinator responsible for registration. Create a new table and data sheet view with the following options. So we're gonna to go to create and table. When you click that, it automatically opens up in data sheet view. See how it's great out there? A, rename the default primary key ID field to advertiser ID, so this is your default. We're going to right click and rename the field to advertiser ID. Okay, change the data type to short text. So I'm going to need to change the data type here to short text. Default is for it to be auto number, so one, two, three, four, so there's no duplicates. Okay, so B, add a new field with the name, advertiser name, and short text data. So when you click to add, the first thing they want you to do is choose the data type, and it says short text, and now you can change the name. So advertiser name. Third field is short text data type and contact L name. Contact. And a fourth field is short text as well, and that one is contact F name. And the fifth field is currency, and it's called cost. So instead of hitting enter now, I'm just going to click outside. Save the table with the name advertisers and close the table. So here's your table here. So I'm going to right click, save, and it's going to ask me for a name because I haven't saved it before. Advertisers. Okay. All right, so now we have a new table here. And close the table, so you can right click and close it right here. You can also close it right here. Okay, step two, use the import spreadsheet wizard to import the data from your support file and append to the advertisers table. Do not save the import steps. So external data this is your export group, this is your import group, so we're going to go to new data source, from file, it is a .xlsx file, meaning it's an Excel file, so we'll click here, we will go to our downloads, and choose our Excel file. We're going to append it to the advertisers table. Sometimes that'll show up because these are databases. Next. Next. So this is the last step here. It says do not save the import step, so you don't need to click on this and just choose close. So you just imported data from your Excel file into the advertisers table. Oops. Just wanted to show you that there. Okay, so step three, create a new table in design view with the following options. So we're going to go to create and we're going to choose table design. So here we are in design view and we're going to add a field with the name sponsor ID. And short text data type is the default. Change the field size to 4, so your field size is automatically 255, so we're going to go 4. B, set sponsor ID as the primary key, so choose this and primary key. C, add a field with the name sponsor name and short text data type, so sponsor name, short text. D, add a third field with the name amount and currency. Save the table with the name, <clears throat> excuse me, sponsors and switch to data sheet view. So save 
sponsors, switch to data sheet view. Okay. Step four with the sponsors table open in data sheet view, add the records shown in table one. So that's going to be <clears throat> S, capital S, 020, dynamic growth. thousand resize the sponsor name field so that the field value is completely visible okay so it's kind of like in your Excel you go to the right of the field and double click and it will do best fit save the changes and close the sponsors table so right click save right click close Step five, open the attendees table in data sheet view and delete the record for the attendee with an attendee ID of TL001. So we're gonna open it. If we just double click, it opens straight up in data sheet view. If you wanted to open up in design view, you just right click and design view, okay? So we are looking for LT, TL, sorry, TL001 right here. So we click on this and we go up uh, to here and choose delete. Yes. Make sure that you chose the right one when you delete because you can't get it back. Okay, so step six, switch to design view. Okay, so now I'm going to switch my design view. Change the name of street field using address. Street turns into address. And add a new field to the end named cell phone and short text. So cell phone short text. Save the changes and close the table. Right click save, right click close. Step seven, use the simple query wizard. Simple query wizard create. Simple query wizard to create a query based on the attendees table. Okay, so we go query wizard. Here's the simple query wizard, it's the first one. We are going to choose the attendees table. Okay, so that's automatically there, but here's where you find your tables and queries. A is include the attendee ID. The first name, last name, cell phone, in that order. B, save the query using attendee contact info. So next, attendee contact info. finish and here it is. Then it says close the query. So we right click and we just close it down. Step eight, use the form wizard. So create form wizard to create a form for the advertisers table. So the advertisers table the reason it default opened up to attendees was because I have attendees selected over here. So if you wanted to do it quickly, you could just click on advertisers and then form wizard and it just shows up there as advertisers instead of you having to look for it. Include advertiser ID, advertiser name, and cost fields. Select the columnar, which is defaulted, and Assign the title advertiser cost data. So advertiser cost data and view the form and close it. Finish. Boop. One of seven. Okay, so we got all of our records in here. Perfect. Right click and close. So you'll see these showing up down here. Form. We just created a query, contact info. Okay, step nine. Use the report wizard. 
Okay, so create report wizard based off the attendees table. So because I had it chosen over here, it's automatically shown up here. Include the last name, first name. So last name, first name, city and state. So city, state. Do not add any grouping levels. So we're not going to add any. And sort the records in ascending order by last name. Okay. Select the tabular and the portrait, which are defaults. So you just click next and assign the title attendee locations. View the report and then close it. So we're going to go finish. There's your report. And close. So now you have a new report down here. Step 10, create a query and design view for the attendees table with the following options. So create a new query off the attendees table. Include last name, first name, city, and state. Did I get it? No, state. Sort the records in ascending order by last name. So here's last name, ascending. Add criteria to select only those records where Philadelphia is the city. So here's your criteria row. Here's your city column. So Philadelphia. Make sure I spelled that right. Yep, alrighty. Save the query using Philadelphia attendees. So we will right click. Save Philadelphia attendees. Okay, then close it. Right click and close. Step 11, open the guest and workshop query in design view. So the guest and workshop query. So I'm going to right click in design view. Add the registration fee field to the query. So I'm going to double click and it comes up here. Um, it wants me to put it immediately following the attendee ID. So I'm going to get my thick black arrow pointing down. Click once so it all turns black. And then I'm going to click and hold and drag it over until I see that thick black line to the right of the column I want it to be next to. So it wants to be following attendee ID. We've got that done. B, add criteria to select only those records where the guest fee field value equals zero and the workshop fee equals zero. So they're ands. We're going to go to the guest, the criteria row for the guest fee and it's equals zero and the workshop fee. So next to each other is and, beneath is or, one or the other. So this is going to narrow down your results quite a bit. Open the query in data sheet view and confirm that 16 records appear. <clears throat> so to open it in data sheet view, you can click run or just click data sheet view here. And we've got 16 records. Perfect. Close the query, saving if necessary. Always save, save and close. Okay. Step 12, create a query in design view based on the attendees and the registration tables. So we're going to do something like what we just did, query create and query design, except now we're going to click attendees and add and registration and add. Now we're going to close them both down. And just so I can see everything that's here. Add the attendees, oh, add the attendees table and registration table to the design window. The table should be automatically joined by the common field attendee ID. So that's this joint here is a color relationship. So add the first name and last name fields from the attendees table. So the first name and last name fields, and then add the registration ID, registration fee, and workshop fee, fields from the registration table, D, save the query using attendee registration as the query name. So we're going to right click and save Re attendee registration. All right, no typos. If you have any typos, if you realize afterwards that you made some typos, you can right click on any one as long as it's closed here 
and you can rename it. So no big deal. Step 13, open the or states query in design view. Right click, design view. A, move the state field so that it is the first field in the design grid. So this is what we just did. We're going to click on state and we're going to wait till it's black, see our pointer, click and hold, drag it to be the very first field in the design grid. B, add criteria to select only those records where the value in the state field is N, Y, or N, J. So N, Y, and then we go beneath for or. N, J. Okay. Um, sort the records in ascending order by state. So we're staying with state here and we're going with ascending order. And then by last name. And then ascending here. Open the query in data sheet view and confirm it matches figure one. So we'll go data sheet view, Barbara, Martha, Sarah, Ivan, Sean, and May. Perfect. Okay, right click, save, and close. Step 14, use the cross tab query wizard. So create, and this is in your query wizard button. This is cross tab query wizard. Okay. Use the state field for the row headings. Oops, we are basing it off the attendees table. There you go, attendees table. Next. Use state as row headings next and use city for column headings next. Use a count of attendee ID. Okay, so count of attendee ID is defaulted. And save the query using state underscore city cross type as the query name. So next state City cross tab. View the query and close it. Finish. Okay. Right click, save, right click, and close. Step 15 open the attendee first name query in design view. Attendee first name query, right click, design view. And add criteria to select only those records where the first name field value in here begins with LAU, followed by any other letters. Save the changes to the query, open the query in data sheet view, confirm that two records appear in the query results, and then close it. Okay, so now you're dealing with your wild card. So uh, that's your asterisk. So you put your asterisk in place of characters you don't know. So that's why they say it starts with LAU, but you don't know the rest of the name. So you're going to go LAU and you're going to put your asterisk in there to represent any other characters that you're not sure of. So now when you go to data sheet view, you're going to get back Lauren or Laura. See that? So if I had put asterisks in front, it would have found me if there were any names that had extra letters in front of the name as well. So that's how your wildcard works. Right click save, right click and close. Step 16, open the state attendees query in design view. State attendees, right click, design view. Add parameter criteria to the state field to replace the current PA criteria. So right now it's going to only show anybody from PA. I'm actually not sure what state that is. Mm, no idea. The new parameter criteria should prompt the user with enter desired state as the text. So a parameter query starts off with a square bracket. Enter desired state, close square bracket. Save the query and view it in data sheet view. Enter IL, that one's Illinois, when prompted. Okay, so we're going to right click and save and when we hit run or data sheet view, it's going to show us this is this is what happens with parameters. So when you put those square brackets in, this little prompting box comes up and they're going to ask you what state do you want to see? So you put in IL like they ask and you click OK. Confirm that three records appear. Three records do appear. We've done it right. OK, so right click, save again just because I'm going to be for sure certain about it and then close. 
Step 17, open the total fees query in design view. So total fees, right click, design view. Modify the query by creating a calculated field that sums the total of registration fee, guest fee, and workshop fee. Oh, this is on, on two pages. Use total fees as the name of the calculated field. Save the query, open the query in data sheet view, and then close it. All right, so creating a calculated field. Here's the extra field that we will need to enter in. We can do right click and we can go to build or zoom. So I'm going to go straight to build. So I give you, you know, an example of what you should type in here. So they want total fees to be the name of the um, field. So you put in total fees and a colon. So this is your alias. You would have learned this throughout called an alias. And they want you to sum registration fee, guest fee, and workshop fee. So you can see right here what, how you're supposed to type that in with the square brackets. So you go open square bracket, registration fee, close your square bracket, space, plus sign, space, square bracket again, guest fee, close square bracket, space, plus sign, space, um, whoopsie, square bracket. Workshop fee, workshop fee, close square bracket. Okay. So we've got that added in there. Now we save it, save, we run it, and we've got total, fee, total fees showing up as the name, and we've got it adding all three of these together. So 175 plus 0 plus 75 is 250. 125 plus 00, 125. So we know it's working out in our favor. Right click, save, right click, and close. Step 18, open the conference fees query in design view. So conference fees, right click, design view. Modify the query by sorting the records in descending order by the calculated field conference fees and display only the top 5% of records. So we're going to sort this one by going, whoopsies, sort descending. And they want us to return only the top 5% of records. So you're going to go look up here in your query setup and return. You're going to go 5%. Save the query. Open the query in data sheet view. So right click save, open in data sheet view, and close. Step 19, open the sorted states query in design view. Sorted states. Right click design view. Modify the query to sort the state field in ascending order. Sort ascending. Each state should appear only once. Save the query. Okay, so this is a little bit of a different one. This is unique values. So to find your unique values, you're going to have a look at your property sheet. So you're going to look for the property sheet of state. Property sheet mask text format okay so we'll click out here in the gray area and we get unique values we change the no to a yes and we close that down again and then we right click save and then when we run it we only get individual values here so there's no duplications of Illinois or Minnesota or New Jersey or New York okay so right click save right click and close Step 20, create a query in design view for the registration table with the following options. Create a query in design view for registration table. Close. Add the registration fee, guest fee, and workshop fee. Add a total row. So total row is just this totals button up here. So it just adds a total row here. And then calculate the sum of each three fields. So right now it's grouped by, so click here and change it to sum for all three fields. Oopsies. Okay, D, save the query using aggregate fees as the query name. So right click save, aggregate, oopsies, aggregate fees. Okay. Open the query in data sheet view, confirm it matches figure two, and close it. So we go data sheet, 
5,900, 300, 1,250. Perfect. Right click, save, and close. Step 21, open the exhibitors table in design view. Right click, design view. Make exhibitor ID the primary key. So we click right here, exhibitor ID, primary key. Change the field size of exhibitor ID field to four. So it's 255 right now, we'll change it to four. C, change the data type for booth cost. So here's your data type for booth cost from number to currency with uh, decimal places instead of auto, make it zero. D, add the text basic cost to rent a 10 by 10 booth as the description for booth cost. So here's your description field over here, see description. So we'll just type this in to make sure we don't have any typos. Save the changes and close it. Right click save. So some data may be lost, it's okay to show up because you changed this field from 255 to 4 from an existing table. So they're just letting you know that if you had anything typed into that field that was more than four characters long, you will lose anything past the four characters. You click yes. And to close it, we don't have to switch back to. There you go. So you see exhibit ID has four characters there. Close it down. Okay, next page. Step 22, open the attendees table in design view. So right click in design view. Add a field with the name status. Status. To the end of the table, select lookup wizard as the data type. All right, lookup wizard is the bottom data type there. Um, select the option to type in your own values. So I will type in the values I want. Next. Type in the following three values in the order shown as a list of possible values for the field. Member, non-member, and student. So, member, whoopsies, non-member, and student. So those are your three choices. Limit the field values to only the items in the list. That will be next. Limit to list. Save the changes to the table and close it. Finish. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like. Right click save and when we go over here. Um, design view, status. So when you click here, you get these are your three options. So that's what a lookup wizard does. Okay, so whoopsies, right click and close that down. Step 23, most of the attendees are members of the Economic Development Professional Organization. Use an update query to update the values in the status field of the attendees table to member for all records. Okay, so we're going to create a query based on the attendees table and it's going to be an update query and we are updating the status field to member for all records. Run the query and save it using update status. So we will now run it. You're about to update 36 rows. Mm, usually they give you a hint and tell you. Okay. Yes. And then right click and save it as update status. All right, right click and close. Step 24, open the attendees table in data sheet view. So just regular double click and change the status value. The status value for attendee with attendee ID of CB001, CB001, oops. So click here and change their status to student. Add the caption postal code to the zip field. OK, 
Okay, so here's your zip field. You're going to go to fields. You're going to go name and caption. So for the zip field, you're going to put in a caption that says postal code. Okay. So that changed the name here, not the name of the field itself, but the caption will show up as the postal. Yes, my goodness, I thought I spelled that wrong. Okay, so we are going to right click save, right click and close that down. Step 25, create a split form for the registration table. Save the form using registration split form as the form name. Okay, so we're going to go to create and we're going to go to the form section and we are going to choose more forms, split form. Oh no, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> So I'm going to close this down and I don't want to save the changes. I forgot quickly that I need to choose over here which one I need to base my forms and reports off of. They need to be clicked here first. So it's based off of the registration table and then when I go to create my form, more form, split form, it is based off the registration table. Perfect. Save the form using registration split form. So right click and save as registration split form. Oops. Okay. Close the form. Right click and close. Step 26, the potential donors table contains records that should be appended to the sponsors table. Create an append query with the following options. So you're going to the potential donors table, you're going to create a query design, and you're going to go potential donors, add, close. You're going to create an append query, so click on append, and you're going to append to, so this is where you choose the sponsors table. Click OK. Now we are going to select all the fields from potential donors table in the same order as they are shown in the list, so you go boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so make sure you choose sponsor ID, sponsor name, and amount so that it goes to the same fields in the other table. And save as append potential donors. So right click and save, append potential donors. Okay. And run it to see. There we are about to append 10 rows. Okay, that's what we want to see. Data sheet, there's your 10 rows. Right click, uh, save, right click, and close. Step 27, open the relationships window. Database tools, relationships. Uh, add the attendees table and the registration table. Create a relationship between the attendee ID field of the attendees table and the attendee ID field in the registration table. Make the relationship enforce referential integrity. So we are going to go from here, click and hold, drop on attendee ID, and then we're going to enforce referential integrity and create. Now we've just created a relationship. Save the relationship and close the window. So right click and save and close the window. Step 28, find the unmatched query wizard to find attendees, use the find unmatched query wizard to find attendees who do not have a matching registration. So create query wizard, find unmatched query wizard. Okay. Select the attendees table. and select the registration table as the related. Select the attendee ID, which is already done. So next, display all fields. So double arrow will bring them all over. Next, save it using unmatched registration. Uh, 
unmatched registration and finish. Okay, so right click save, right click and close. Okay, step 29, members who registered early paid a reduced registration fee, create a make table query that selects all fields from the registration table in the same order they are listed in the field list. Select the fields individually for the query design grid. Do not use the star asterisk, so create query design. We choose the registration and we close that down and then we double click each one in that row, in that order. Then we go to the registration fee field and it says to create a criteria where it equals 175. Then we go make table and the new table name is going to be early registration. Registration. Okay, and then we're going to save and the name of the table is going to be make early registration. Okay. So when we look at the, there we go, run, you're about to paste 13 rows into a new table. Yes. Perfect. Save, right click, and close. Okay, step 30, open the registration table in design view. Registration table in design view. Perform the following tasks. Enter a validation rule for the registration fee field to ensure that values in the field are greater than or equal to 100. Okay. Okay, so you're going to click on registration fee. Here's your validation rule. And you're going to type in greater than or, oopsies, <laughs> greater than or equal to 100. Okay. Enter the text must be. So just beneath there, must be greater than or equal to 100. No typos, good stuff. Save the changes. Hint because the validation rule was added, a warning message appears. The data is valid, so ignore. So right click, save, yes. Right click, close. Step 31, create a delete query. So create, query, query design from the sponsors, add and close, and we're gonna create a delete query, which just adds a delete row down here. Select the sponsor name. Add criteria to delete only those records where Comor is the sponsor name. Criteria Comor. Save using delete sponsor. So right click, save, delete sponsor. Okay. Save and close. Step 32, open the sponsors table in data sheet view. So we'll regular double click. Sort the records in ascending order by sponsor name. Sponsor name, ascending order. Add a total row. Total row. And for the amount field, you click in here and get the drop down box. And they want you to choose some. And then right click, save, right click, and close. All right, so that is everything for this one. So you can just make sure you have it saved with underscore two to submit to Sam for grading, and great job.